this is our fixture. This is going to represent different shielding materials, and we're going to see how various materials work to shield different frequencies. So our top level here is going to mimic um, a material that's got some visible openings, maybe some kind of a knitted wire kind of uh, shield. The middle here is going to be something with smaller openings, uh, maybe like a porous surface. You might not even see those openings, but they're there. Um, this could be something like a metallized fabric. And then on the bottom here, this is going to be something more like a solid sheet shield, um, something like a foil, just like that aluminum foil we talked about with the test. So those are our three kind of materials. And we have various spheres that are going to represent our frequencies. So large red spheres, that is going to represent our low frequency um, interference, which has long wavelengths. And then we've got small blue spheres. This is going to represent high frequency interference, which has short wavelengths. And then we've got white spheres that are somewhere in the middle. So what we're going to do here is dump these in. This is just going to represent interference attacking the system. All right, and just as we expect, you see most of the red ones here. Um, like them being the large spheres, um, that would signify those long wavelengths, so they're not able to get through these openings. But these short wavelength blue spheres are able to slip right through, get all the way to the bottom here. And actually, do we have one that I has see, slipped through? I see one came if through. If you can see, there's one that slipped through. We made a couple openings in this bottom, and that is to represent um, if you have any openings, say your shield doesn't go end to end, or what I see commonly with like a foil shield, if it's in a flexing application and kind of breaks down and makes a crack, now you have an opening and that interference is going to find its way in.